We have three kids here. Shoshana is now in grade five. Jacob is now in grade one. And Tasha, who is our third, and she's currently in junior kindergarten. When you come to the school and you tour it, um, I was left with this wonderful feeling of, um, yes, it's academically rigorous. Yes, they work to like challenge the kids and make it exciting and intellectually stimulating, but it's also so nurturing. You just felt like there was sort of a big hug coming out of the, out of the school after you toured it. And you could feel that the teachers know all the kids and they care about all the kids and they want the kids to succeed. In terms of the program itself, what we found about the Sunnybrook program that was really appealing is that there was a combination of still lots of um, free play, lots of creative um, space within the classroom and outside. I love the amount of outside time that they get at the beginning of the day every day for them to sort of get their energy out and, um, and learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and be yeah. kids. Right. And the dynamics of interacting and managing conflict, all of that is those are really important life skills. What I also loved is that there, there is a routine and a structure that incorporates um, some more academic fundamentals that will help them as they progress through. Like having French every day, I think is absolutely amazing. And right, and the music and the, and the phys ed and the fact that they're doing that from um, the get-go, which I think they really enjoy and appreciate. To me, and this is so important, like Sunnybrook has been fantastic. I think it's a real kind of nurturing environment, small class size, um, individualized attention, um, but it, it, great kids, great families. Um, there, there's really, and I, <laughs> there, there's, I, I, I don't think I've ever really encountered someone here that, like within the Sunnybrook community, that um, I haven't liked, quite frankly. And, and I think, um, and what that, and what at least that seems to do is it kind of helps just, it, there's a real collective feel to the class and so the kids in terms of how they've developed socially and, and emotionally I think have really kind of benefited from that. I also think in terms of the JKSK program specifically, um, the kids learn a lot from from the play-based encounters I think and they learn those important life skills about how to manage conflict. Right. The teachers do an excellent job of helping them learn about how to deal with that themselves and fostering the independence so they'll have the tools so they're not running back to the teachers constantly. The teachers have, they're teaching them how to manage these things themselves and teaching them the independence so that going forward they can do that without having adults intervening constantly. The ratio in and of itself is pretty amazing because the class size is capped and we've never had our kids in a class bigger than 18 and having two teachers um, means that there is a lot of time for one-on-one -on -one attention and you can see it in the results that come home, um, whether it's uh, you know the early math skills they're picking up, or the early reading skills, or um, the you know the fine motor skills, where at the beginning of the year you're looking at how they're spelling their name in junior kindergarten, and you can make it out as a parent. And and now I think. Tasha is probably... I knew this was going to come up. <laughs> My handwriting is, is verging on illegible, and so all three kids probably have nicer penmanship. Really and truly than And I Tasha's do. four. Um, <laughs> but uh, in terms of the individual attention they get, like there has never been an instance where I felt like, yeah, our kid's not getting that particular attention they need, or there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's an issue here and, it, and it's been missed, or it's been... Um, how come this wasn't flagged earlier? So that's never been a concern. There's a real effort to keep us integrated and informed about what's going on. Every Friday, we don't just get an email of this is what we worked on this week. We get an entire slideshow of these are your kids <laughs> in the classroom. This is what they were doing. And, and it's just, yeah. it's wonderful. And you get sort of a taste of everything from, um, you know, down on the floor doing their artwork to standing up when they're at the smart board doing their presentation. Well, for sure. And, and that, that's great and as a parent we love seeing that but it also kind of helps foster or stimulate the conversation at home. 
I don't really know for me if I could isolate you know, two or three reasons or particularize why in a couple of sentences I would say to someone, if you're thinking about J.K. or S.K., you should, you know, um, Sunnybrook is a place because for us, I, I maybe it's just the way I kind of think about it, but it, it's just been a whole, just it's a whole experience, it's a whole package, um, from top to bottom, start to finish, and it's just my our kids are excited about school, they're excited about learning, they don't complain about doing homework, they they're eager to do homework, they. Uh, they, they just the, everything that it, it's the whole experience the music the art the the potential the fact that you're starting in JK and SK and like we spoke of earlier it is almost a school within a school but it's kind of what lies ahead beyond that yeah yeah